Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look how we can take advantage of the Google site in order to create our very first website. So this is something that can help us a lot to us people that we don't have like enough money or we don't have like the right budget to start working with a website or we, uh, let's say we're just getting started. We don't, we don't want to pay for like a lot of stuff here. So uh, let's begin here. In order to continue, what you guys want to do is to go into the site.google.com. And once you are in here, it's going to be asking to sign into your Google account. And as you can see, I'm already in here. So here is my account. I'm already in here. Manage your Google account. I just want to focus in here. Now, what I want to do is that I can create a new site if I want to. I can go into the blank section. And here, what's going to happen is going to be sending me into the untitled section of the Google editor. So here I have the add content. I'm going to hit into next. Here I have the move things around. So what I can do is to organize sites uh, and blocks if I want to. I can share what I've done so far with someone else. So they can just like import more things into this website. And once we are ready, we can publish that site and see how it's going to be looking at the end of the video. So it's really easy to use this section. If you don't want to start from scratch, you can use a template. But really quick, I'm going to be showing you something uh, really, really easy. If I click into this three element that appears in here, I can choose uh, different themes. So for example, I do have this one available. Uh, like it was just by default. So if I choose, let's say, for example, this color is going to be changing depending on the option that I just created. So there you go. So if I go into the custom one, I'm going to go into, let's say, blank. We can add a logo, a banner image. We hit into next. We have some preset colors. And let's say I want to just focus into this free uh, like this. Hit into next. Titles and headings, I'm going to just stick around with something like, for example, this bold is something like more professional, that looks a little bit more professional, for example, Bertana, or even this one, and hit into light, for example. And then I'm going to have the body text once again. In my case, I do love to have everything on the same uh, font. So I'm going to stick around with this one that was before, hit into light, and go into create my theme. And boom, our thing has been successfully added. So now what I want to do is to change the image that we use in here. So if I go into change image, I want to go into select image. Let's say that I want to create something really, really easy like this, adjusting the color. So if I go into the remove readable adjustment, it's not going to be looking now my page. All right. But here, for example, I want to change this for my personal block. And if I want to change the colors and the text, I can do that into this upper side. So for example, I'm going to make this a little bit more uh, with the bond here. It's on both. Or I can change, I can even change the color, but I don't want to do this at the moment. Now, if I here have the site logo, I can add a logo, a custom logo if I want to. I can upload an image like this one, for example, and here's going to be appearing to my logo. And here to the old text, let's say that this is, uh, for example, Stevens, Stevens block here. And then I'm going to go into upload, get into the X button. This is how it's going to be appearing. Stevens block like this. Then what we can add here is into the insert part is the text box images and beamed and drived. So I think it's much more easier to add some content blocks. For example, I'm going to be adding the this one actually. I think like this one is going to be really easy to add. I just need to drag and drop. And there we go. Here is my first, let's say my first post. And here into the edit text, I can just go with, hey everybody, this is my first post. Everybody, this is my first post, right? This is my first post. And I'm going to hit into the enter button. And if I click into this plus one, I can upload my own images or I can go into the section of select an image. I want to go into Google images. And here I want to go for grinding. This is just the keyword that I can use if I don't have any images to upload. So let's say that I want to look for something that can be 
a little bit more characteristic for myself. So let's say I'm going to look for this one or even this one. Okay, this will insert. And just like that, my image is going to be added automatically. Now, if I go here into pages, I can add different pages. Um, like how I'm just starting to work in here. Uh, here I do have some space and components, the navigation, the images. I do want to only focus into the insert part because I'm just getting started. So here's my first post. If I want to create something like a button or something like that, I'm going to hit into the element of button, name of the button, let's say click here and here into link. I'm going to be choosing something just for example, I can hit into Instagram and I have it clicked here. So I'm going to put it in here, this option, and I'm going to go for uh, a text option. I'm going to go and scroll all my way up and look for text box. So I'm going to hit here and I'm going to put hit me up on my Instagram. So what I'm going to be doing here is to only choose the real size that I want to that I want this text to appear in. So I'm going to be choosing now this one and align this and I can drag this on the upper side of my image like this. Now if I do this, for example, I can do this backwards the other way like this. And here into this color, for example, or into this text custom text here to have hit me up on my Instagram. And I can just leave it like that. If I want to enter like an image in here, I can once again do some images, upload or even select, which that would be really much more easier for me. Go into Google Images and tap for, let's say, Instagram. And as easy as that, I'm going to be choosing this one because this one, I think it fits for the theme of my custom website. Or in my case, this is just a blocked. So once again, what I want to do is to import this image and try to drag this as uh, like this, for example, I think it's going to be looking great. Now that I do have everything like successfully done, last thing that I want to add, like almost everybody does, is the embeamed section. For example, let's say that I have the embeamed and I can choose an URL. But uh, I'm going to scroll all my way down and look for some uh, social links if I want to edit so, like this. I don't want to see it like this. I want to see something different. For example, here the link, I have an image. I want to go into select. I want to go into my photos or Google images and go for Instagram logo. And if I choose YouTube, I can choose a video of YouTube. Let's say, for example, that this is just a unboxing of iPhone 14. I'm going to go into the search bar. I'm going to just select like the first video that I can uh, see here and I want to input with that in here, down in here. Let's say just a little bit more down like this. And lastly, I'm going to be hitting the text button. I'm going to drag this uh, in here. And lastly, what I can do is to go into publish. Once I hit into publish, it's going to be asking me how does you want this site to be called. So here, let's say I'm going to hit Steven block and if the address is not available it's going to be appearing into red so i'm going to hit into a next button or let's try to use like this and hit into publish if you want to request public your search engine to display my site you, you can enable that so nobody can see your website so go into publish and once you have that published you want to go into the publish once again, go into get it, return to the editor, which is actually really, really simple. Go into the copy publish site link. I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to paste it into a new tab and let's see how it's going to be looking our own personal block. So there we go. Actually, it looks really, really great, right? So now what I need to do is to check out the video if it's working. There we go. It looks really, really great. I'm inside the the blog. I'm going to hit the click here. Hit me up into my Instagram. The link actually works. And lastly, I'm going to be choosing this one that I think it's really hidden. But just uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to click in if 
and see if it works. So as you can see, it works. The site, to create a site is really, really easy. For having a personal blog, it's really, really simple to do that. And of course, you can import your own uh, custom domain if you want to, if you have already something that you can add. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more information about this. Great, great size of Google. Really, really easy. Hopefully, this was a very useful video for you. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Good luck.